Hey everybody, welcome to another video. This one is going to be used to help me and you using the comments down below. Green hair algae is bullshit. I have been wrestling with it for months. I don't know what's going on. And then, for some reason, there was an explosion of green hair algae within a day. The next day I look at my tank, it's on the walls. It was nuts. So I'm not overfeeding. I have the protein skimmer. I'm doing weekly water changes. Nitrates are probably at 8 at this point because a week ago they were at 12. So we're probably looking at 8. But that doesn't mean that they're low because nitrates will show, nitrate testing will show a false value because nitrates are locked up in the algae because the algae is nitrates are fertilizer and it fertilizes and grows the algae so it's locked up in the algae so you might have nitrates off the scale but the testing is going to show five just what's in the water column you know so if you have a lot of algae and your test is showing zero even you might have a lot anyway i have no idea what's going on i bought new lighting okay i got the reef brights thinking that the night crew is just growing algae. Because I'll tell you what, I was looking at videos of mine from five, six years ago. My corals were thriving and getting huge. I noticed in some videos I saw last night on my channel from that time, they were, the, the walls had green, hair, green, green bush algae on them. Bush algae. Now I've got hair algae all over the place. I don't know what's going on. I did get, a few weeks ago, live rock from the ocean from KP Aquatics. Awesome rock. But live rock does come with some die-off, which will be ammonia, which will go through the cycle to nitrites, to nitrates, probably what set it off. So you have to do water changes every other day of at least 10%. I did that. I did 10 gallons, say Friday, I did 10 gallons on Saturday, and then I did another 10 gallons on Sunday. That was a couple weeks ago, and I'm still battling the algae. It's not as bad as it was, but it's not good. And then I scraped it off the walls, um, changed my mechanical filtration, the sponges, you know, as I do every couple days. I let it in there for a day. It took out a lot of that seaweed, seaweed whatever green hair algae looks like seaweed it's nasty and then i also took the fish net in there and i just went around and i got what was in the water column power heads are on high to blow it around and to get it out of the tank i even turned off the protein skimmer for a couple hours and i put a couple capfuls of three percent hydrogen peroxide food grade because that kills it breaks down the cell walls of the green hair algae and it turns it white it's dead at that point. Use that with caution. It'll get in your water column. It doesn't take a lot. It gets in your entire water column. Kills all the algae. It'll kill your inverts. Shrimp especially. And corals don't like it. They close up for a few hours. Today, in the 125 gallon, I did a 40 gallon water change. I scraped off the hair algae from the sides again and the overflows. And then I siphoned it all up, netted out the rest from the water column, put the 40 gallons of water in there, salt water. The water I took out was kind of dirty and it had a lot of algae in it. And the power heads are on high. And again, I put in two capfuls of hydrogen peroxide. That's all I can think of doing. Do I keep my lighting off a whole day except for just three hours a day? I, I really don't know what to do with this. It's really pissing me off. So if any of you have suggestions on what to do, what you've done, and I don't mean to get rid of it. I mean to get rid of it and kind of like keep it gone. You know, you can kind of overturn your sand bed just a little bit with a scraper to cover what's if there's if there's any on the sand bed because then the light won't get to it then after i did my water change i turned the power heads back on 
and there was like all this algae just blowing around in the tank so i took the netting and again went through the water column to get what was in there out and there's still some on the sand bed that came from behind rocks you know from what i scraped off so that'll die off with the hydrogen peroxide that i dosed just an hour ago now turn the protein skimmer on in about two hours and then change out the filter mechanical filtration the foam and the sump again and uh we'll go from there you know but what do you do to keep it gone because these tanks on youtube that i see as you see as well are crystal fucking clear and there's like no algae at all i know that everyone has algae there's always dirt and things fueling algae and there's always algae everywhere there's other things in there too but i just want to know what are you guys doing and girls to keep your tanks looking pretty clean pretty nice let me know down below and i'll keep you posted of course on this tank because it's like what am i going to scrape it every day and then vacuum off the sand every day and do water change every day for as long as i have this tank i never used to do that but again, looking at my older videos from five, six, seven years ago, my tank looked pristine. But I noticed just last night in looking that there was algae in the shadows. There was algae on rocks, the bush poofy kind, not the hair kind. It was like bushes, little bushes, of fluffy algae. And my tank looked pristine and my corals were thriving. And I thought it was the lighting maybe giving too much i'm giving like i tried 45 par i tried 100 par now my lighting the new lighting the reef brights they're at 75 to 85 par you want to stay within 75 to 150 i'm around 75 to 80 anyway let me let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing like anyone have any secret out there to keep algae at bay because it was always fine and now it's Oh, here's a trick I'll let you know. Your magnesium, which corals need in order to keep calcium in check and everything, magnesium should be around 1350. And if it's not, your corals are going to die. But if you keep your magnesium, you dose extra magnesium, which I've been doing, if you can get your magnesium to 1500 or 1600, it'll, it'll kill that algae. It'll nail it. So that's, that's my next plan, too. You don't want to keep it that high for too long. So I plan on keeping it there for a couple weeks, the magnesium. And then we'll go from there. Your thoughts are very much appreciated. Check out the video description for the gear I use and the links where you can get the stuff on Amazon. And I'll see you in the next video.